So thank you all for coming as usual. And uh, I shouldn't say as usual because some of you haven't been here before. But we'll find out about that in a second here. Um, and uh, we'd like to uh, welcome our special speaker for the evening uh, right now, Dr. Gary Hare, over here. Yeah. <clears throat> so you'll hear his story in a bit uh, and his relationship to uh, Amiga, because uh, he has one. And uh, that's really a great deal. Uh, is, this, is this coming through OK? Yes. Because yes. we, we tested it in an empty room. And you know what that means. Oh. Well, it's a test a lot better than an empty room. So. Uh, there's all kinds of things that happen when people come into the room, uh, especially people with wireless devices and things of that nature. You know, it's a wireless mic, and things can happen, but they haven't so far. Uh, hopefully, they won't. So uh, it's really, it's really again great to see everybody here. And um, so, really, you know, the reason why we do this is uh, for you, the attendees. Uh, and because uh, if you weren't here, we would be talking to an empty room, right? Uh, that would be kind of ridiculous. So, uh, but so we need to thank you first of all for coming. And so we're going to find out a little bit about you here. Um, so, how many people have been here since the first show in 1998? If you have, raise your hands. Hi, so we can see up. Yeah, that's right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and no more. Sorry, I know has been. Robert has been too. Six, seven. Okay, there's seven of them. Okay, so let's uh, dial forward uh, through five years. Uh, and uh, so, how many of you have been here for 21 years? Uh, okay, raise your hands high. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're doing this in a, in a descending order, okay? So let's, let's yeah, uh, okay. so five years, uh, 16 years. How many have been, been here for 16 years? Yeah, okay. Hi, please, so we can see him. Hi. Uh, so five years from 16, I think is 11. How many of you have been here for 11 years? Okay, good, a lot more. Hi. Uh, how many have been here for... Oh gosh, my math is failing. Six. 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 six years. How many six year attendees here? Okay, very good. Yeah, it was a mental effort. Uh. <laughs> How many are new this year? All right. Yeah. All fantastic. Yeah. In fact, I think that's the largest proportion of first time attenders that we've ever had. Um, and. Uh, I, I know that uh, we have some uh, original Amiga team members here, at least one. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, exactly. Ron Nicholson is with us this evening. So uh, thank you for coming, Ron. We really appreciate that. And then uh, exhibitors, how many have been here since the first show? Except Bill. Bill's always been here. He's an exhibitor. So he's, he's been here for 20 years. Uh, let's see if I can do it again. 21 years. Exhibitors, no? Okay. Uh, and so 16 years. All right, there's one right there. And how about uh, 11 years? Exhibitors. Okay, good. And how about 6 years? Exhibitors. Continuous or no, no, just, just, just the last six times. Six, yeah, six times. Okay. How many are new this year? Exhibitors. Anybody who came for a table? So you know the reason we do this uh, is so that we can indeed, you know, uh, not only promote Amiga but find out what you've been doing. Uh, because, you know, that's what the roots of our community are, are the users, the exhibitors, the individual developers, uh, you know, that's, that's who we are as a community. Uh, and uh, we, we really appreciate your attendance here at MUS, and we hope that you'll all be back next year. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we're going to uh, recognize our sponsors right now. First of all, the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club, whose idea this was. And there are, are two original committee members here, I believe. Uh, and if you will please ask you gentlemen to stand, Michael Salcedo and Roger Berry. Yeah. So add to that.
that John Zacharias, Cindy Aguiar, and uh, the other guy. Um, <laughs> that's the name I can't yeah. recall right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, uh, next we have our gold sponsors, our financial sponsors, AEI Technology. Lake from New York. Do we have a rep there from, from there or not? No rep? Okay. Uh, but yeah. And then uh, Clomento Amiga Forever, the dialogue code. Bad guy. This is him right here. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, put the light on him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not just to the basic edition either, that's the plus edition, oh, yeah. that's a, it's a $30 yeah, it's download. <laughs> so, uh, or maybe more by now, it's the last time I looked at it. So, uh, and then there's our raffle sponsors, uh, who indeed have uh, you know done a lot to support the raffle with prizes, and, uh, and I don't know what else, uh, because they, I have lost track of that. But we have our people here, Jerry Gray and his, his crew, who have not lost track of that. So they are Rabbit Hole Computing, Amiga Forever, uh, Amikit XE, Sword On, the cheap electronic shopping sensor, uh, <laughs> Amiga Store EU, Alinea Computer, and Retronic Design. Uh, and so thank you to all of our raffle sponsors uh, because you know they are an integral part of this effort. Uh, and those of you who will have more prizes drawn tomorrow will find out more about that. Uh, so thank you all for uh, being our sponsors here. It's, it's um, back when we first started the show 26 years ago. We actually charged $25 a head to get in. Uh, so now because of our sponsors, we don't have to charge that. And you can come and, and do what you do. So now we have our club awards. So we usually give out two awards, and there's going to be one additional award this evening. Um, so uh, they are named after former club members, and uh, I'm going to start out with the Dan Klosko Award. Dan Klosko was a uh, longtime club member who passed away uh, in uh, 2015, I believe it was, in December, uh, and uh, so we honor him with this award. He uh, was the creator and maintainer of the famous Abyss. Everybody's heard about the Abyss, uh, which was a 1,000 square foot house that he owned, stacked to the ceiling with Amiga hardware and software. Uh, and it took us about five years to, uh, uh, to redistribute that whole thing. So uh, it's finally gone, but uh, and many of you have some of the things that were in there. Uh, so this is what the Dan Klosko Award is about. It's an organizational kind of award, a support award. Uh, and uh, for outstanding service to the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club and the Amiga computer, community at large for 2023, it's presented to a man who has dedicated his efforts to the success of the Amiga community both near and far over a period of many years. Uh, and uh, much more could be said about this. These are only bullet points. Uh, so uh, if you say, well, what about this? Or what about that over there? Well, you know, we can, we can fill, trust you to fill in the blanks. Um, he is an Amiga fan from way back. He has given up his time and expertise to push Amiga forward in many ways. He is in the forefront of Amiga development on many platforms. He is enthusiastic about the future of Amiga, actively participating in software development and preservation efforts, making it possible to run Amiga everywhere. He has supported Annual West by donating free download codes for his superb Amiga Forever environment for many years, as well as attending the show in person bringing encouragement with him. The Dan Klosko Award for 2023 for outstanding service to the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club, Amy West, and the Amiga community at large is presented to Michael Babylon.
So I didn't raise my hand because on and off, I didn't know if it counted or not. But <laughs> you know, we have seen each other for more than 20 years now. Yes, we have. <laughs> so, yes, we and are. we are looking forward to the future, as you said. So yes. we celebrate the past, all aspects of the past, but also we have different possible futures, which I think yeah. will motivate us for the next years. And also looking forward to new generations coming. <laughs> More also in higher numbers as well. So, <laughs> but the classic will be celebrated, and uh, new a new vision of diversity and respect <coughs> and excellence and quality and passion will keep growing and be celebrated here. John Zacharias is our another uh, is another one of our awards. Uh, John Zacharias was involved with uh, Commodore Computer Clubs and the Amiga Computer Club in Sacramento uh, since the early 80s. Uh, he was president of the Sacramento Computer uh, Sacramento Commodore Computer Club SC3 uh, for a pro for a good long time. Uh, we've discovered this out of the historic newsletters that we have, uh, listing him as president of the club and then when the Amiga Club started he went with the Amiga Club and, that, and soon after became its president for a good many years. Um, he also was the one who uh, came up with the, well it was, it was an idea that was around at the time of having a show. He had gone to Bob Sharp's show in uh, St. Louis, Missouri a couple of times and said, you know, we ought to do that here uh, and came back and organized this show uh, in uh, 1998. So um, he was a programmer for the state of California and uh, really enjoyed the uh, Amiga because of its uh, open quality as far as uh, programming resources were concerned. So that was his particular fascination with Amiga, was the programming side of things. Uh, he did a, 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 a very large email program called AE Mail, uh, and uh, some, some of us uh, still use that, but uh, he was... Uh, you know, tragically taken from us uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, and uh, indeed, that's how I inherited Danny West, was a, a call from a hospital bed saying, you know, I can't make it this year, what about you? Uh, so uh, that's where I took over in 2001, uh, doing this. So uh, <clears throat> we, we honor John uh, today for outstanding, the award is for outstanding technical assistance to the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club and the Amiga I mean, the community at large for 2023 is presented to, uh, this year to one who is largely responsible for the technology we see and celebrate here at MU West. He's an original Amiga fan from the beginning, using his creative insight to build an Amiga for the very first time. He worked too many long hours to give to all of us a machine that did what none other had done before. He has since given up his time and resources to keep on promoting Amiga throughout planet Earth. Today, he continues to support and give of his energy, creativity, and life to those who continue what he and the other original Amiga team members have begun. He's enthusiastic about the future of Amiga and actively participates in Amiga events near and far. And every time we boot up an Amiga, we are all thankful that the Amiga responds to us instead of us responding to the Amiga. All because of the intuition interface that he invented. <coughs> The John Zacharias Award for 2023 for Outstanding Technical Achievement for the Sacramento Amiga Computer Club, Amu West, and the Amiga community at large is presented to R.J. Michael. <laughs> now, R.J. was supposed to be in attendance today, and we have not heard from him. We currently have a, a call into him right now just to, you know, see what his status is. Uh, but uh, I, we and we don't know why. Uh, but uh, we're, we're hoping that he's okay. Uh, I think all of our thoughts and, and prayers are with him wherever he is. And uh, but that certainly doesn't diminish the amount of the award. Uh, and uh, I know it's one of the reasons why I still use him Amiga as that intuition interface. So uh, thank you, RJ. We really appreciate. It. So in the life of any organization, including a show and a club like this, there's growth that occurs. 
Uh, and uh, oftentimes the, uh, the growth that occurs requires uh, and necessitates the involvement of other people. So uh, as that has happened here at the show, other people have become involved. And last year when I took very ill, in fact seriously ill, uh, four men stopped, stepped up and really stepped into the gap and did the show for me. Uh, I shouldn't say for me, but for all of us. So uh, at this point, you know, I, I really uh, am feeling like they have done such a great job uh, that uh, we, uh, at least I want to make this a, an orderly transition of leadership. So this year's President's Award uh, goes to four individuals. Uh, the President's Amy West Team Award for 2023 recognizes the transition in the leadership of the Amy West Show. The leadership baton is officially passed to a team of outstanding professional project managers who have already proven their skill and talent at continuing the history of innovation that Amy West represents. They are named in alphabetic order. Bill Borsari, Amy West broadcast team, has been the Amy with Amy West since the first show in 1998. He continues to produce the Amy West broadcast, be our online operations officer, and give major creative input into the structure of and participants in the Amy West show. <laughs> Brian Carbignano is our finance man and bank with backup contact. He is also a beta tester for Amiga OS 3.2 and 3.3, in addition to his professional work for another IT company. Jerry Gray is our on-site operations officer and problem solver, in addition to giving major creative input into Amulet's organization and operations. He runs the hotel contract and the game competition, producing the custom prizes that winners receive. He also leads the raffle along with Bill Borsari. Chris Nelson, AKA Mr. Toast, is our on-site technician, social media officer, and recording secretary for planning meetings. His experience in the IT field is brought to bear in ways too numerous to mention for our benefit. So, as you've noticed, I've noticed I've named four individuals uh, who have really taken on expanded roles and have grown those expanded roles exponentially. Uh, so, and we've seen that in the last couple of years. As with all volunteer organizations, these talented men give freely of their time and talent to advance the cause of media into the future. They represent the future of Amy West. I applaud what Amy West has already become and will continue to be under their leadership. Please give them your continuing loyalty and support. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna disappear, because I won't. I'm kind of big and large, you know, so it's hard for me to do that. So, but I would uh, ask all of you to come uh, to the front and receive your certificates and uh, celebrate that transition in our leadership. So Bill, Jerry, Chris, and Brian, please. Thank you very much, especially for last year's stuff, not that I was so well. Uh, but uh, as going forward, you know, we'll we'll definitely be talking about next year's show soon.